Hi there, Eddie. Um, further to your uh, shoulder problems that we, we spoke about in Kilkenny, just a couple of tricks and, and tips that I think are worth giving a go. First thing is using one of these uh, balls, doesn't particularly matter. I like the trigger point therapy balls myself, I think they're the most effective. Um, but very simple to use. You want to relax these muscles at the front in your pec minor and subclavius muscle in particular. So put the ball in the palm of your hand, elbow bent, arm out at full stretch to the side, and where that contact is pretty much where you want to start. Put the other hand on top, just find the most tender spot, and then with a nice breathing in, breathing out, just roll the ball across the tender area, you can concentrate a little bit deeper, it can be quite sore, but uh, keep at it. I personally like to keep going for around about a minute to a minute and a half. So you can use that ball on the back of the shoulder too, just stand against the wall, put the ball behind you, lean against it, roll around on those trigger points. Work out for yourself what is the most effective for you, but keep the pressure on for minimum 60 seconds if you can do. And yet another very simple trick is using the, the regular balls that we use. This is really for mobility, it will help you to stretch those muscles. Remember we talked about this muscle underneath the, uh, the scapula here, that's very tight. Um, and just use this as a, a really nice supported way of stretching. This doesn't require any power. Um, and I think sometimes we concentrate too much on strengthening, strengthening and stretching at the same time. This is a nice passive stretch and you can work into any of the uh, angles that you want to. Okay, so give those a try. Uh, I'm just going to add another um, bit in a moment, working on that muscle very specifically for yourself because we didn't quite finish talking about it in Kilkenny. Back in a second. So, uh, Eddie, uh, part two. This is the shoulder. Um, it's a right shoulder, it's the same side that you've got issues with. That's the back side. So we're familiar with these muscles here, the rotator cuff muscles, which are really good for external internal rotation and very important in, in kettlebell, particularly with the snatch, I would say. And then if we come to the front, see so your collarbone here and the arm bone here, <clears throat> and it's this muscle underneath the scapula between the shoulder blade and the chest wall. And that's the one we want to try and get at. Okay, This technique is quite simple. It can again be a bit uncomfortable, takes a bit of practice, but the main thing is that it's, you can do it anywhere. I'm going to be on my couch just for simplicity, but it's really to be done on the floor. So let's just get rid of that. <clears throat> so what I'm looking for is to be able to get my thumb or my fingers into this subscapular space. So I'm going along the chest wall and right tight underneath the, the shoulder blade. Hopefully you can see my fingers disappearing somewhat underneath there. Now the reason I'm on my side is I want my other arm braced against the floor which gives me a good strength on the upright here. And now I can just relax the shoulder and work in there. I'm just applying pressure by leaning forward now. Now personally I prefer to use my thumb because it's a little bit more precise. So I'm getting, getting it in there find those tender trigger points and now I can kind of roll onto the shoulder and that will give me then plenty of pressure without my thumb and my arm getting too tired essentially because again we're going to hold this for anything between 60 and 90 seconds. Okay, if you are on the floor you might, your arm might be more in this position but essentially by rolling onto and away from you can increase and decrease that pressure. <coughs> You can do that every day if you want to. If you start to feel bruising in the, in, in the muscles, then obviously you're probably uh, overdoing it slightly. But uh, essentially, <clears throat> regular basis, that's going to give you that extension that you need, and particularly it's going to assist with rotation in the snatch, and particularly in the dropping phase. I hope that's been helpful, and uh, any questions, you just come back to me. Okay, pal, take it easy.